हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल एम वी स्कोड गाइड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ वी कैन कैलकुलेट सम ऑफ डायग्नल्स इन मैट्रिक्स एंड वी आर गोइंग टू डू दिस बाय टू अप्रोचेस फर्स्ट इज बाय यूजिंग नेस्टेड लिस्ट्स एज मैट्रिक्स एंड देन वी विल यूज नंपाई एरे टू डू द सेम टास्क विद इन अ सिंगल लाइन ऑफ कोड ओके सो लेट एस सी हाउ वी कैन डू दिस सपोज वी हैव अ मैट्रिक्स लाइक दिस ओके सो दिस इज अ टिपिकल स्क्वेर मैट्रिक्स ऑफ थ्री बाय थ्री वेयर थ्री इज द नंबर ऑफ रोज इन कॉलम्स ओके इन अ स्क्वेर मैट्रिक्स वी हैव इक्वल नंबर ऑफ रोज इन कॉलम्स इफ यू कंसिडर दिस स्क्वेर मैट्रिक्स जस्ट ट्राई टू ऑब्जर्व द इंडेक्स पोजिशन ऑफ ईच एंड एवरी एलिमेंट सो हेयर आई एम गोइंग टू राइट द इंडेक्स पोजिशन ऑफ ईच एंड एवरी एलिमेंट एंड ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ आई एम डूइंग दिस द रो नंबर ऑफ दिस मैट्रिक्स इज जीरो वन एंड टू एंड कॉलम नंबर विल बी जीरो वन एंड टू Okay, so this is how we can identify the position of individual elements. And right now, here I am showing uh, row number zero, column number zero, uh, row number zero, column number one, row number zero, column number two, and so on. So these are the ind index positions of each and every element that I am showing. Why I am showing this is because the real logic lies behind the index positions of the matrix and not the matrix itself. Okay, firstly, I would like to tell you that. in each and every problem lies a hidden solution we just have to grab that hidden clue which will help us to solve any problem okay so in this particular problem of matrix we concentrate on the position of indexes which helps us to solve the problem of any any kind of problem of matrix okay today we are going to learn how we can calculate the sum of elements present at the diagonal positions okay first of all let us see what are the diagonal elements in this particular example this is the first diagonal and we call it as primary diagonal and this is the second diagonal we call it as secondary diagonal okay likewise if you see the position of diagonals or if you try to see the index position of diagonal elements you can see this and this if you see the index position of these diagonal elements the index position is 0 0 1 1 and 2 2 uh, where first zero represents the row number and second zero represents the column number and we can see a pattern over here that the row number is equal to column number when the row is zero column is also zero when the row is one column number is also one when the row is two and column number is also two so there is a pattern that we can see and this pattern can be used to extract the elements present at the diagonal positions when we trace the elements using uh, uh, nested loops we can use the uh, variables representing rows and columns and we can extract uh, the elements by this a particular pattern that when the row and column are same then the elements present at that particular position can be extracted and we can calculate the sum of them okay so this is the only thing that i wanted to tell you that we have clue in each and every problem that can be used to solve the problem okay let us see how we can do this thing programmatically let us take a matrix first of all and try to extract the elements at diagonal position so i'll be taking a is equal to So I have taken this matrix and I want to calculate the sum of diagonals. Before that, I would like to show you how we can extract the elements present at diagonal position. Okay, to traverse each and every element of a matrix, we need nested loops, and that is already discussed in the previous video. So I will write for i in range of length of a and for j in range of length of a of i okay and then i am going to put a check right now if i don't put a check i will traverse each and every element but i just want the elements present at diagonal position okay i just want to extract the elements present at the diagonal position 0 0 1 1 and 2 2 and 0 1 and 2 over here are representing row number and this is representing column number row number is represented by i in the nested loop uh, j represents the column number in the nested loop and this is how we are going to traverse so to extract the elements present at the diagonal positions i want to create a check what is that check i want to check 
if i is equal to j then it is my diagonal position because if row number is equal to column number that will represent the diagonal position so i am going to keep a check over here if i if i is equal to equal to j then print a of i of j and that is how you will see all the elements present at the diagonal position okay so all these elements are present at the diagonal positions which are shown over here 1 6 33 and 88 this is 1 this is 6 33 and 88 perfect now we just want to add them and see the results so i will create a dummy variable sum sum equal to 0 or i will write primary because this is a primary diagonal so i will write pr primary diagonal okay primary diagonal is equal to 0 and now i am going to run it again copy and paste now i am not going to print this result i am just going to add them okay primary underscore diagonal equals to primary underscore diagonal plus a of i and j so this is going to represent the diagonal elements and it will be added to primary diagonal and now if i run it and see the result in primary diagonal so i'm going to write primary underscore diagonal and now we will have the sum sum of 1 plus 6 plus 33 plus 88 is 128 if you don't believe it we will do the sum over here okay plus 88 is 128 only okay so this is how we can calculate the sum of the diagonal or we can say sum of primary diagonal now let us see how we can calculate the sum of secondary diagonal now if you try to observe the pattern in secondary diagonal you can observe that the index position is something like 0 3 1 2 2 1 and 3 0 now if you observe the row number and column number row number is 0 and column number is 3 and the sum is 3 row number is 1 column number is 2 and the sum is 3 here row number is 2 and column number is 1 the sum is 3 and here the row number is 3 and column number is 0 and the sum is 3 so here we can see there is a pattern that in a matrix of 4 by 4 the sum of the indexes present at this secondary diagonal uh, is coming to be 3 if we observe the index positions of the elements present at the secondary diagonal uh, we can see that if we calculate the sum of row, row number and column number it is coming to be 3 at all these positions this is also 3 this is also 3 this is also 3 and this is also 3 so this is a pattern that it is following for 4 by 4 matrix the sum is coming to be 3 so we can relate that uh, for a n by n matrix it could be uh, n minus 1 so i will take another example of 5 by 5 matrix and prove you that uh, the pattern is somewhat like this only here i want to clarify another thing that uh, we are considering the index positions and not the original matrix okay we are not considering the values of the matrix we are just considering the index positions of the matrix and we are uh, trying to find a pattern of the index positions so whatever uh, the data you are seeing over here this is only the index position and not the original matrix okay let us see a 5 by 5 matrix example If you observe this five by five matrix, which has index positions like this, and uh, uh, row row number will start from zero till four, and column number will start from zero to four, the index position of secondary diagonal is zero four one three two two three one and four zero. And if you take the sum of these index positions, or we can say if you take the sum of row number and column number, that is. a uh, 5 minus 1 that is 4 so in a 5 by 5 matrix the sum is coming to be 5 minus 1 in a 4 by 4 matrix the sum is coming to be 4 minus 1 so we can say that in a matrix of n by n the sum is going to come like n minus 1 so this is the pattern that we can extract from this clue and we can use this pattern to calculate the sum of secondary diagonal let us see how we can do that programmatically 
let us take this 4 by 4 matrix and uh, let us calculate the sum of secondary diagonals from this matrix. First of all, to traverse each and every element, again we will take for i in range of length of A and then for j in range of length of A of i. Okay. Now there is a syntax error. Now i is going to represent row, j is going to represent the column and the pattern that is going to extract the secondary diagonal is if i plus j is equal to equal to n minus 1. Now first of all we have to tell our program that what is the value of n? So, if you are taking 4 by 4 matrix, the value of n will be 4. Okay. So, before proceeding, we need to tell our program what is the value of n. So, right now our value of n is 4. And now we can proceed with the code. And we, we can do this like i plus j equals to equals to n minus 1. If that is the case, what we are going to do is we are going to print the elements first of all. Print a of i and j. Now we will be having the elements at secondary diagonal and if we want to add them we will write sum equals to 0 and then again I will write something like this and I will write sum equals to sum plus a of i and j and if I print the sum, sum will be 2, 1, 3 and as we can see 49 plus 32 plus 43 plus 89 is 213 only. Okay, so this is how we can do this and there is another way of calculating secondary diagonal uh, that is we have another pattern for secondary diagonal elements that is if you observe the index positions of this 4x4 four four matrix so this is a row number and these are the column number and the row number is going to be represented by i and column number is going to be represented by j and for each and every position for an individual position what we write is for a of i and j and if you observe the pattern over here uh, for all the elements present at the secondary diagonal just observe that this 0 is the row number this 1 is the row number, this 2 is the row number and this is this 3 is also the row number. Uh, when the row number is 0, here it is 0. When the row number is 1, here it is 1 and so on. So we can observe in all of these that uh, the row number is changing uh, along with the loop, along with the i variable. When the value of i is 0, here it is 0. When the value of i is 1, here it is 1. When the value of i is 2, here it is 2. So it is changing with the loop variable only. So we do not need to concentrate on the variable i. But if you observe the value of j, here it is 3, then 2, then 1 and then 0. So we have a formula to calculate the value of j in this pattern. And the formula is j is equal to n minus i minus 1. Okay, here the value of j is coming to be n minus 1 and minus i minus 1 and observe how it is going okay so this is the value of j first of all this is the value of j right now that is 3 okay now value of j is 3 what is the value of n this is a 4 by 4 matrix then the value of n is 4 and 4 minus what is the value of i in this in this particular row the value of i will be 0 so I will write 0 then minus 1 and 4 minus 0 minus 1 is 3 only. Now observe the second row. In the second row the value of j is 2 and the value of n is gonna be 4 always. Now what is the value of i? Value of i is 1 over here. So we can write minus 1 minus 1 and 4 minus 1 minus 1 is 2. And this is the pattern uh, that can be used to calculate the uh, elements present at the secondary diagonal. Okay, so as we can see uh, this 0, 3, 1, 2, 2, 1 and 3, 0 it is also following a pattern and minus i minus 1 in the jth value not the ith value. 
for i it is going to be same when i is 0 here it is 0 when i is 1 it is 1 so when we are taking the position over here if you see when we are taking the position over here here the value of i is not going to change the value of j is going to change so just we just have to put a check on j part not i part okay let us see how we can do this programmatically let us take a matrix A equals to this and this is a 4 by 4 matrix. Now I am going to use some dummy variables like sum equals to 0 and I am going to specify the value of n equals to 4 because this is a 4 by 4 matrix and to traverse I will use for i in and then I am gonna keep a check. Okay, so check is if j equals to equals to n minus i minus 1 okay I have put equal to so n minus i minus 1 now if j is equal to equal to n minus i minus 1 then I am gonna use sum plus sum sum equals to sum plus a of i and j okay so I am gonna run it so there was a spelling mistake a range okay now if I run it and if I see the value of sum, the value of sum is 213 and we can cross check 9 that is 213. So this is how we can calculate the sum of uh, secondary diagonal elements. So we have used two approaches. One is this formula okay j is equal to n minus uh, i minus 1 and the other one was i plus i plus j is equal to n minus 1. So these were the two approaches that we used to calculate the sum of secondary diagonal elements. Okay, for the primary diagonal elements, uh, there was just one check. If i is equal to j, then we have those diagonal elements of primary diagonal elements. Okay, now let us use numpy array uh, to calculate sum of diagonals. Okay, I will write import numpy as np. Then I will create a matrix X. X is equal to NP dot array. And I will write this over here. So I have created 4 by 4 matrix. Okay. So this is how X is going to look like. Now if I want to calculate the sum of uh, primary diagonal elements, I will write X dot trace. So this is the method that we are going to use to calculate sum of diagonals. So I will write x dot trace and it will calculate the sum of primary diagonal elements. And if you want to cross check we will write 12 plus 47 plus 27 plus 25. So this is 111. And if we want to calculate uh, the sum of secondary diagonal elements we will first have to reverse the matrix. So for reversing we need to use slice operator and I will keep the step value minus 1. This will reverse the matrix and this is how it is going to look like. Okay so uh, the elements are reversed and now if I use this reversed thing like minus 1 and now if I use trace function then it will calculate the sum of secondary diagonal elements. Okay, so to calculate the secondary diagonal elements first we need to reverse the elements of the matrix and then we can calculate the secondary diagonal elements sum. Okay, and we can also use uh, another method uh, called diagonal method. If I call x dot diagonal it will show me the elements present at the primary uh, diagonal position 12 47 27 and 25 okay and uh, if I use x dot diagonal dot sum it will show me the sum of those primary diagonal elements okay and similarly I can use this dot diagonal dot sum to calculate the sum of secondary diagonal elements. So this is how we can calculate the sum of diagonals using numpy array and I have shown you um, both the approaches using nested list and numpy array to calculate sum of diagonals and whichever way is easy for you you can use that. So this is the end of today's video. If you are having fun learning with me please like my videos and subscribe to my channel MV's code guide. Please keep learning and keep supporting. Thank you.